everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma aka Flares. If you're new here it would be great if you could click that subscribe button and if you like these sorts of videos then there should be plenty more coming soon. Today I'm doing a speed build. As you can see I've laid out my remaining villager houses. I've got four left and they're all kind of the same design so I thought we'll put them all together and then that'll leave me some space for some other things. This is kind of where it links to the rest of my island so far so you can get a bit of a snapshot of that. Not sure what I'm going to put in that big open area there but we'll think of something. So I'm going with like cliffside neighbourhood. Uh, these are like the houses that overlook the beach, have an amazing view, maybe cost a, a cool million, you know. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm going for with this look. I'm going to put down some of this stone fence just to section off the area so it's not just a random drop out into the ocean because, you know, safety, we can't be having people falling off any cliffs. I do not want to be sued. Thank you very much. And. I think it just looks nice and kind of ties in with the rest of my island so we're using a lot of stone here <laughs> a lot of stone um so yeah so here i haven't actually told you which houses these are so this one here is sky's house and i'm just gonna do some bits leading up to the house put give them a doormat and things just you know make it feel a bit more homely so for sky i'm going in with the diagonal rug here we have Blue Bear, really lovely blue house, it does stand out a bit, I'm still not decided as to whether I'm going to keep her but we'll see how it goes for now and I can always change it out later. I will, I'm still tempted by Goldie, still tempted by Goldie. And this is Bone's house down here, I'm going to go with the little polka dot rug for him. And then finally we have Bang's house which is just absolutely beautiful. Probably one of my favourite houses in the entire game. It's just all the white and with the wood, just love it. So there we go, there's our doormats complete and our little walkways. Time to just finish off this little bit of stone fence. The bit to the right here, I'm not sure what I'm going to do there, maybe just some natural foliage area, maybe a nice picnic spot. We are right behind my museum here, so that could fit in nicely. And we're out of stone. <laughs> um, so when I put these houses down, you may notice these random squares. That's because I wanted to make sure that I got them in the correct place. So it's just like a little bit of a wayfinder for me, if you're wondering. Bones is going to have a barrel just as a little bit of a storage area and because, you know, got to keep up those barrel core appearance, that barrel core appearance <laughs> with all the barrels. So that's why I've added that. And then in between his house and Blue Bear's house, I'm going to do a little bit of a laundry area. I feel like my area is severely, my island is severely lacking laundry areas. So I thought this would be a great excuse to go to town and put in all the clothesline, all the old fashioned wash tubs. So that's what I'm doing here. And of course, another barrel. You know, what are you gonna do? You just need them everywhere. And it's just some blue and white flowers to give it a little bit of color. get them in the right place that is. So I decided that I wanted to put some custom designs underneath the clotheslines which is why I picked it up just again just to add some more detail make it look a bit cuter. And I never normally put ironing boards outside in little kind of laundry areas like this so I thought I'll do it this time. And it really frustrates me that you cannot put a flower on the spot that I was stood. I have no idea why. It feels like it's further enough away from the door. And instead of a flower, I thought that we'd get the garden faucet in just to give the idea of this is where the water's come from in order to do the washing. A few more 
more flowers here and there. Have a little play with the ironing board, something that I hate doing in real life. <laughs> but it's okay doing it in the game. And then to the right I'm just going to pop down some flowers. There's not really enough room to put much here so I thought that this would be just a good way to fill the area. Back again, I managed to craft some more stone fencing because we were in desperate need of it. This lace doily, you'll see what I've used that for later, just as a kind of reminder to me to put something there. Just some more items to go along with the kind of barrel area. I'm trying to get this mountain bike in there, there we go. Okay. So that's kind of bone side of the house done. Time to move on to the area between Blue Bear's house and Sky's house. For this area, I wasn't sure what to do, but then I remembered the kind of dining area, the blue and white dining area that I did for another video. And I said I want to recreate that somewhere. So I'm gonna do that here today. It's not going to be as pretty because it's going to be a bit more awkward as to the way that it sits because it's going to be horizontal as opposed, no, it's going to be vertical as opposed to horizontal. I always get those two mixed up, like my lefts and my rights. You would think at my age I would be able to figure it out but still sometimes you just have to get your hands out and do the L's just to make sure. So here it is, these are the tables that I was talking about really absolutely gorgeous pattern on them probably one of my favorite custom designs that i've used on this island if not in the game full stop if you do like it the creator code should be in the description and i know there is a variation on the color of it it's like a blue a solid blue one so if that's something that you're interested in definitely go and check it out because they're just gorgeous grab some flowers just so that I can pop down some picked flowers on the table just something a bit different and then in we go with the chairs so I'm just gonna use a mixture here I've got the director's chairs the wooden chairs I've got them in white and also the blue color some natural garden chairs as well all kind of in that white and blue palette I really wish I could have put some trees or something behind here, maybe in time, maybe I'll change it out and just have the one table, but I like the idea of having a big kind of, I don't know, community dinner. That's a really nice idea, especially because it's quite a close-knit, cosy neighbourhood. So I feel like you'd have to get on well with one another to live here. Hopefully there's not going to be any arguments. So just a few more bits of fencing just to section it off. And just dot these flowers around a little bit. I don't know why I struggle too much to put these log sinks down. A real struggle. There we go. Time to just get some more items because we've got Sky and Fang's area to work on. For this area, I thought I would do something a bit different, and I realised that I haven't used like the paddling pools or any kind of kid furniture. So what I'm gonna do is just build like a, a little garden, put a paddling pool in, a ball, just something like that. Quite simple, but I just think it will look cute. And it, it's a lovely blue colour to match with the area as well. I did try using the elephant side, it's just a bit too chunky here so we gave that one a miss and just went with the ball instead. Just popping down those doilies while I remember, still 
some of my absolute favorite designs i just i really need to not use the lace but it's just so pretty that i can't help it i know it maybe it's a bit samey samey but i absolutely love it so now we've just got this little area to work on beside fang's house i am gonna section it off a little bit with the fence And I'm just dropping down some of the other items that I had in my inventory just to get rid of them because I'm going to need to grab a few more pieces just before we finish the build. So this is going to be the final bit of fencing that I put down which I'm sure you'll be very happy to know. <laughs> I feel like majority of this video has been me putting down fencing but it had to be done. Right, here we are, we're back. So for these doilies, what I'm gonna do, I didn't have enough garden lanterns to put them all down, so I will intermittently put different items down, but the garden lanterns and I have some floating biome planters, so I'm gonna alternate them. For this little section next to Fang's house, what I'm gonna do is just put a little seating area. Nothing too crazy. I'm really sorry if you can hear the loud noises that are going on outside. Unfortunately, I live in a city and they've decided to race cars tonight. So it's gonna be interesting going to bed tonight. Um, here is the bench that I decided to go for. It's the lovely swinging bench in the white wash color. I really, really like it. Definitely a great one for this island. So I'm going to pop the floating by planter here, I've gone with the one in the blue and the white, and then a garden lantern, and then another floating by planter. There we go. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm just going to pop some more stone fencing down. I know I said that I would try and leave it to a minimum, but I think it just needs it here behind the museum. Just a little section. That should be enough. So just finally planting down some flowers and then I think that's pretty much it. So here is Fang's house and as we move right we've got Sky's house, on the left we've got kind of the kid backyard, on the right we've got the community dinner area. Oh I forgot to finish off the items on the table, <laughs> I will add some more I promise, some more dinner themed items and then Blue Bear and Bones have this lovely kind of laundry area and then a little bit of a storage area as well i've used a lot of the stone fencing which i feel does work really nicely my path i did do that earlier before i started doing this build because as i said before it's quite dull to watch that i do think i might change my path before i fully complete though so i think that's pretty much the end of the video i really hope you've enjoyed the speed build maybe i've given you some ideas for what to do with your neighborhoods and i hope you like it until next time guys please remember to subscribe and like the video if you've enjoyed it and we'll see you again soon with another video bye bye